Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. How are you doing today? I'm I'm doing alright, I think. Oh, there's some skeletons over there, along with some blazes. So, we're taking a little trip in the nether here. And I want to show you something in my little quick dig mining area. Did I go get that guy? Let's go get that guy. Oh, no, there's blazes everywhere there. And I don't have any fire potions on me, so... So here we are. We're in my little speed mining area that I dug out. It's all, it's like one beacon wide full of digging. There's a dog here who got abandoned in the nether. So I brought him in here. Um, and look, why is the wall different here? What's going on here? Oh, and this. So I started digging out an area here because there was some lava. And I was thinking, oh, it's just a small little lava lake. I can get rid of it. And yeah, it, there, it was a lot larger than I thought. Uh, and the reason I wanted to get rid of the lava here was because what's up here. Let's go take a look. Oh, I, I think this looks pretty cool. Uh, dug down to the bedrock, dug out as many of the other blocks as I could. I put in some lava for just to keep it so you can see what's going on and it's glass top so nothing can spawn on here so i don't need to light it uh, other than to see so that's why there's lava lava here and there uh, i think that's pretty cool looking and it was kind of uh after i realized how far i was digging in this became a bit of a test just to see what it would look like so i think it looks pretty cool but the only reason i was doing all that is because what's up in here and there's a spawner. It's a spider spawner. And I wanted to... Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, ow. Did it come out here? Yes. Good. Hey, don't be a spaz. Okay, so. Spider spawner regular spiders uh, so I dug out you know an area around it a couple blocks above a couple blocks below and then uh, put you know cleared up some space put some lighting up here and uh, lined the walls with iron bars because the spiders seem to have a difficult time climbing up them they are they're able to do it but it's not the easiest thing in the world for them uh, water flows along until it gets to here and then I put in a drop and it pushes up into this cactus and I've got hoppers to pick up drops um, and that is pretty much it and the spiders come up here and climb up the wall they get stopped by these bars here and they just they die this may not really be far enough away from the spawner to sort of maximize the rates but yeah I don't care uh, and then this is slabbed back here, so I don't need any light. And let's, uh, oh, and, and the, the lighting above the spawner, which keeps it from spawning, is controlled up here. Boop, I can turn it off. Oh, you already hear the spiders. And then I've got this area lit, so I don't have to worry about things spawning up here. And they're dying already. Yeah, you can see there, spiders spawning. If I stand too close there, the spiders can get to me. But uh, there we go. Don't really need to go back inside there, so I'm gonna close it up just to make it as dark as possible. And spider spawner is done. As you can see, it, it produces Spider eyes are here because I think I killed the spiders for those, but I'm not positive. Oh, there you see string coming in. And then the bone and, and arrow were from a uh, skeleton jockey who spawned 
in. So I don't know if I'm going to leave this chest. I may put a shulker loader sort of system in here. Uh, not that I'm going to be spending a huge amount of time here, but it's, you know, it's good to have a good, reliable source of string. So that's what's going on there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here. This gather, this got me, this whole area got me an awful lot of resources. And, um, which is pretty awesome. So I might move the beacon. I might scoot it over some direction or another here. I know that I've got a bunch of lava over there that I have to deal with. But I might go 100 blocks in this direction. And let's see, we're under, we're in the ocean here. Let's see if we leave the ocean. Uh, but if I go another 50 blocks or so that way, move the beacon, I can dig out another area the same size. Get more resources don't really need to it was it was a nice little zen activity digging out the area um, i wouldn't mind if i'm up for the challenge going through and and digging out a lot of the floor either in here or just continuing down that way uh, actually i could move the beacon down that way and get to we're still under ocean here I need to figure out which direction the guardian farm is because I probably don't want to dig under the garden farm or because I'll dig into it because the guardian farm floor is like one above two above bedrock or something like that. So if I dig too far in any in the wrong direction, I will hit the guardian farm, which we don't want. But anyway, there we go. Just wanted to show you that. I have myself a little string farm here so we can make wool and carpet and all that good stuff. Not that I don't have plenty of string from other sources, just it's nice to have that. The sound, my sound is screwed up. Um, nothing's coming in the center channel. Not sure why. It's happened to me before. Um, I think my sound settings were a little bit goofed when I started recording, so. I'm assuming it's that, and when I restart the game, everything will be fine. Bark. So anyway, there we go. Uh, oh, let me go. Sh let's go look and see. Oh, sorry. Hang on a second. So we're back in my base, and here I have three shulker boxes filled with the resources that I got out of digging out that huge 100 by 100 area. A uh, bunch of coal, a bunch of redstone, and a bunch of other stuff. Like 9, 10, almost 11 stacks of iron ore, um, a stack and a stack of lapis, three and a half stacks of gold ore, and just over two stacks of diamond ore. Which is pretty cool. Um, I accidentally used up one of my picks. I actually broke a uh, pick when I was uh, was doing all that. So I had to use some of the diamonds in order to uh, make another pick, build a replacement. Because it, strictly speaking, wasn't necessary. But oh, um, I didn't have to do it. But I wanted to replace my pick. So. Uh, so that's good. So as you can see, I've got plenty of resources. I'm not using them up, them up faster than I'm accumulating. Some of this, a lot of this came from the iron farm that VexFX built. And <clears throat> we have so much iron that I, I'm not positive that uh, we feel the need to actually build another iron farm at, at spawn, which was the original, was my original plan. So I was going to build an Iron Titan there, or now um, there are other designs that seem kind of promising that don't have to be, technically speaking, loaded all the time. They You sort of go out and reload them, and while they're running, they do all their, they do all their magic. Um, but that, uh, I think everyone feels that we have enough, we have enough iron, that I don't 
necessarily need to do that. So who knows? Uh, let's see. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I'm sorry. So what else? Oh, um, RPM challenge. I, I showed a little bit of recording some of the sheep farm saying I might use that in RPM challenge. Maybe, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, and I was working on a script to do some audio processing that I was planning on using for the RPM challenge and I got that working. Um, but I ran into an interesting little problem. I'm going to need to do some serious debugging of that script. It works. It functions. It just has some issues where uh, it gobbles up a gargantuan amount of resources and um, and runs super slowly to the point where I don't think it's going to be usable. I'm not sure that I'm going to actually make be able to complete my RPM challenge record this year, which is disappointing, very disappointing to me. Um, but I've, I've had a really stressful last few months and having the RPM challenge record hang over me is not, uh, it's not, it's not an obligation that I absolutely have to do. <laughs> or should absolutely feel obliged to complete. And by giving myself a little bit of breathing room on that, I think I might save myself a little bit of stress um, to help me cope with some of the other things that are going on right now. Part of the problem is that at the end of the month when the record is due, I will be out of town, and so I would have to complete it up even earlier than planned in order to make sure that I get it delivered on time. And uh, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen, especially since I don't know that I can get the script functioning properly by the end of the month, let alone run dozens and dozens of hours of processing in order to actually generate the audio that I need to create the album. So that's a little bit of a problem, but and I wasn't going to create the album that I had, that I started making this script for in the first place. Well, the golems are falling like crazy. So um, I have I have a plan, kind of a big master plan of here's why I want to be able to process audio in this way. And uh, I was not going to use that for the RPM challenge because. It's going to take a lot of work and I'm going to have to do a lot of processing this, processing that, listen to it, make sure that it's the way I really want it, probably redo a lot of things. And uh, I have another another process that I need to uh, complete in or before I can finish the album. There we go. So, so I don't know that I'm going to complete that. Um, I could do something a little cheesy. I could pull up one of the Minecraft uh, worlds that I created for the last couple years and sort of record a new piece using one of those, but that's that's a little... that's kind of lame. Um, whoa, what happened here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what did happen here? Oh! Huh. I bet we had a lightning strike. Oh wait, why is this carpeted? Oh, this is just weird. I don't remember this being carpeted. Should be lit though. Okay, whatever. Sorry, distracted. Something shiny. So anyway, um, oh the snapshots. They started releasing 1.13 snapshots that combine kind of do what they've been promising to do which is to combine uh elements of 1.13 and 1.14 are we gonna make this oh just barely ow i 
here come all the mobs uh, so they added elements from the aquatic update which include turtles the turtles are really cute um, and the the 1.13 snapshots that contain the turtles that I was able to play with are a little unstable so I don't know that uh, I'm gonna do anything with them for the time being but uh, they are super cute and they introduce uh, new enchantments and this trident which as far as I know there's no way of getting in survival yet but uh, I'm sure it'll be something to do with guardian farms or, or guard with the guardians like ocean monuments or they're going to introduce some new mob that they haven't told us yet so I don't know we will see but the trident is pretty cool especially with the the channeling enchantment where you can during a thunderstorm you can zap a mob with a lightning bolt which means if you've got a collection of creepers or you can find a creeper during a lightning storm you can actually create charged creepers instead of just waiting for it to happen on its own which is extremely rare and I've only ever seen once so that's pretty cool meaning with the with the charged creepers you can then go and use them to get uh, all the different mob heads have mob heads and we have mob head uh, drops on the server here but uh, it's pretty cool the notion of being able to get them legitimately without having to do a command block chicanery so I think that's pretty cool uh, so the the they ended up releasing three shot snapshots uh, the first week that they put out any of the 1.13 slash 1.14 stuff uh, because there were so many bugs it's still super early and it's hard to tell how long it's going to take them to get all the features in they want but they added some new things with the wood where you could strip the bark off of it and make shaved wood blocks or you could put bark on all four sides of blocks which will be really great from a building standpoint like it'd be nice to to get here wood accents that aren't necessarily planks like this the planks are good for some surfaces but sometimes it might be nice to have slightly less featured wood blocks uh, yeah so anyway I think that's it I just wanted to show the spider farm and um, oops, and talk about some of the new stuff in the snapshots and show you what I got out of my sort of big dig mining area. So I think that's it for now. Um, this is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.